Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bricks and Blocks, and today, by request, I'm playing Cenozoic Survival. This game is a roleplay game about life tens of thousands of years ago, and today I will be playing as a Kellen Ken. Without further ado, let's get going. <laughs> Sorry, it takes a minute to load in. But yeah, basically, um, there's a pretty big map here, and alright, so we are Kellen Ken. This is one of the largest birds to exist. It's also predatory. Oh, let's get away from that wolf real quick. So yeah, this game is on Roblox, uh, obviously, and it's very beautiful. There, I mean, there's a lot of details in this, and you could pretty much play this forever. It's I mean, just look at that view. Look at how big this map is. All the way over there, even this ridge. Like, way out there. That is all in the map. It is huge. Oh, see, these guys are inviting me to their group, but I don't really want to. You know, I'm kind of solitary. And... Oh, so, in this game, there are currently, I believe, six types of animals. There is the Kellen Ken, the Dire Wolf, the Tool Elk, the Quagga, the Pronghorn Antelope, and the Tetramerix, which I believe was recently added along with the Pronghorn Antelope. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of run around here and see what happens. Alright, so we're entering Blackwater Bio here. Sorry, Bayou. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, but, yeah, not a great place for a Kellen pen, or I'll just call them Kellys, as most people do, but it is a good place to find stuff to eat, which we need, because when you start off in this game, your hunger and thirst are already at half, so we're going to try to find an elk or a wolf or something that we can eat down in this marsh. rest for a second. Actually, let's get some water. That's probably pretty important if we want to survive. Oh, it's brackish. Alright, I'll rest for a second here. Floating above the grass. Let's get our stamina up a little bit. Oh, we're sleeping. This is not a good place to sleep. We should probably get up. Alright. Let's go find some food. And get out of this brackish water. Since we can't drink any of it. Oh, I just hit a tree. There are a lot of wolves. All of those noises that you hear. Like that. Those are all wolves calling to each other. They're really pesky, as any any Cenozoic Survival player would tell you. Probably one of the most annoying animals in the game, because you will get millions of them just coming out of nowhere, and they will rip you to shreds for no reason. The same can be said about the Kellys, but you know, since I play as them, they're clearly... A lot better, and there's in no way mean birds. Let's see if we can spot anything around here. We need some food. And, yeah, we need food really bad. That's the one difficult thing about playing this game, is if you can't find food right off the bat, which I think I do, if you look way far over there, there is a wolf, or maybe a tetramerix, or something climbing up over there. I think I'm going to go after it. We're going to see if we can't catch ourselves some prey. Alright, it looks like a wolf. No, it's a pronghorn. We're going to see if we can catch it here before it realizes... 
Oh, I thought it was. Must not be. They're wolves. I hate wolves. Hopefully they don't kill me. Oh, yes. We got him. You better get away. I'm sorry. But we gotta eat. Alright, alright. Yeah, so we got some wolves here. Obviously not very filling, but we will take what we can get. Just rest here. We can Yeah, that took me a little bit too long to figure out, but that's good. We'll get our food back up. And then we can head down. I think there's a pond or a river somewhere in here that doesn't have brackish water. Because that's where we came from. Way over there. And we ran down into black water. And then we came up and found these wolves. So we should probably find some fresh water now. Which thankfully is much easier to find than a live animal in this game. And then hopefully we could get some elk. Obviously, they're the best in the game. Alright, our hunger's back up. So is our stamina. So I'm gonna head down to... Ah, here we go. Whoa, just about ran off that cliff. Let's not run off a cliff. That will kill you. Yeah, here we go. This better not be brackish. Oh, I'm floating. Hold on. Let me fix this. Um... This is very odd. Oh, here we go. So we'll get some water. Get our energy back up. Oh, it's nighttime. Better turn on night vision mode. Sorry if this is going to be a little bit difficult to see. It actually restricts your viewing a little bit. Which is why it's not ideal to hunt at night. Because you can't see very far. Like, I can barely even see what's up, behind, up on top of that mountain. Even though... It's probably not even 10 yards away. Well, it's more than that, but you get my point. Alright, we're full of thirst now, and our stamina's back up. It's like now, I think I'm going to start heading towards the Tekura Highlands. Frequent, frequented by elk, so it'll be a good place to maybe get a good meal. And just kind of hang out. There's also a lot of ponds and lakes up there so we're just gonna kinda head north here see what we find it's difficult to navigate through these trees though as a kellen can because you're very large Ooh, just about ran into that ravine and I can't see cuz I'm in the tree alright I'm gonna cross this log here hopefully it doesn't throw me into the ravine alright there we go I was a little bit too close Alright, let's head down this way. Sequoia Pond. Oh, sweet. Yeah, here's a nice pond. Let's get, stop and take a drink. As soon as I can figure out how to stop floating. There we go. Looks like our stamina's back up. So let's keep on heading out. Up north. See if we can't find those highlands. And I believe this is the Tekura Highlands now. Because we're north of Cascade Lake. And this will take us... Yep, there we go. Yeah, Tekura Highlands. Probably the best place to find elk on the map. With the second being uh, near the arid plateau. As it's pretty open. And big grassland, which they seem to like quite a lot. So we're just kind of running along the border of the highlands right now. I think we're kind of out of it here. Ooh, lucky I didn't break my leg there. What's this? The seeps? Is that tar? I gotta check this out. Oh my. Yeah, definitely go go in there. Looks like this mammoth uh, did not do so hot. He might have gone in the tar. So we will not do that. But, because of that's the seeps, 
I think I have an idea of where there may be quite a lot of elk. Unless I am mistaken, which is entirely possible. Which I think I might be. That's alright. We'll head south. Ooh, river. I'm just gonna follow this. Whoa! Geyser. Or at least a hot spring. No, nope, geysers. Another mammoth. Hey, Kelly's. That was loud. Let's see if these guys want to hang out. Well, they're not killing me, so that's a good sign. Alright, I think we're good. That's very loud. And it echoes, probably because we're in a basin here. Oh, alright. Looks like we're off. Hey, what's that? Elk! Running through the trees. Right there. And I just ran into a tree. She's running across. It's a cow. If we can get her. Oh. Well, maybe if I don't run into a tree. There she goes. Maybe she'll stop if we get lucky. Oh, there she is. Come here. Oh, is she going to run into the seeps? And don't get stuck. No, I think she's going to get away. Dang it. Oh, no, there's an elk. It's a male. There's two. Where am I? Where's my guys at? Help! Help me! We found a herd! Come on, get them, guys, get them! Yes! Alright, I got that one's leg. You're the bone. Alright, we gotta stay away, though. One more round, we should be able to finish her off, unless I have to get too greedy. Oh, looks like she bled out. So I just kick it into the seep. Where did she go? Oh, here it is. Can't really see it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I think we'll just stay here for a minute. With this. It looks like it's going to be morning time. We might just stay here until morning. Yeah, it's taking off night vision for a second. The sun is rising, so it'll be morning soon. I wonder if those elk are still over there. Or if they ran away after they realized that uh, she was killed. Oh, daytime. All right, let's turn off night vision then. Looks like it's early morning. Yeah, the only thing about this game that is a little annoying is the combat mechanics, I guess hunting mechanics, uh, are not the best. But that's really about it. Oh no. They didn't get lost, they were killed. Those two elk killed them, that is unfortunate. For me and them. Now I don't have anyone to hunt with. Yeah, here's the glacial lake. Right up here. After the waterfall. Anything down there? Now that I can see. So. 
We're just gonna go this way. We're gonna head somewhere up in here. Because it's a lot of forested habitat. Safe for elk. I guess while we're waiting here, I'd just like to maybe clear up if you're confused about why I haven't done a Lego video yet. You know, because my channel's named Bricks and Blocks, Legos and Roblox. Where's the Legos at? Yeah, well, uh, I'm still working out the, the logistics on how to do that. Because it's difficult for me to find a place that I can easily access, that I can film like that. You know, it's different than just screen recording. You have to... Oh, there's an elk. <laughs> oh, I missed that so bad. And there we go. I probably shouldn't have killed it because my hunger is not very low. So that's probably a little bit of KOS by me. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's see, what was I talking about before that elk showed up? Oh yeah, so the Legos, um, I'm planning on doing some reviews of some sets that I have, and then as I acquire more through either purchasing them or receiving them as gifts, then I will do some uh, builds of them or reviews after I've built them, or I'll show you like how I build them or what I rate them, stuff like that, but for now I'm still trying to figure out how to set it up so I can do all that and it's taking me a little bit since I have school and running and just other stuff in general that is a little bit more important than YouTube videos so yeah this is oh, this is an arid plateau but is this grassland pond? I'm not sure Oh, yep. Yes, yeah, so this is the grassland pond. This is one of the biggest water sources in this area. Because, oh, I don't know what that was. But as you go that way, I don't know if you can see it, it almost turns to a desert. So there's not really any big lakes between here and there. I think there might be an oasis up there. But I haven't actually haven't explored the desert very much. Because it's just not a very good place to... Are there fish? There's floating fish. And I must say, for being alone, that wolf sure has some guts. Or maybe he's not alone. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't really want to deal with a wolf pack right now. As much as I'm instigating. Oh, here we go. Arid Plateau. So, yeah. It's like, it's not really a desert, I guess. But you got cacti and other uh, drier plants out here than you do like pine trees and stuff and usually this is not an ideal place for anyone to go unless you're going right here to the arid oasis this is pretty much the only reason that anyone would come up here because it's water in a desert or at least an arid plateau. <laughs> and we're going to keep going. This area is probably the most likely place to find a quagga because of their. Uh, because of how they live. They don't require as much water as most animals. And they, I think, are one of the faster animals in the game. I... Dang, doesn't look like there's anything out here. But yeah, so we come out at the end of the plateau, then we get kind of back into a forest here. It's a coastal forest, actually, because if you see right over here, it is actually a dead elk and uh, the ocean. And you see that island out there? I'm going to see if I can get all the way out to that island. Alright, let's see. 
You think it'll even let me get to the island? Alright, well, this will be our last little bit here. I'm going to see if you can even get across to the island as a Kelly. Of course, it's going to get dark, so we're going to turn on night vision. And we'll just see what happens as soon as stamina gets back up, I guess. Alright, anyway. We probably should get going to the island. Oh no, are we going to make it? Yes. Alright, so we'll get to here. And then we'll rest for a minute. And then we can make it all the way to the island. That's awesome. I didn't even know that was possible. I wonder if there's a name for this, like in-game. Maybe. Maybe it's like Dodo Island or something. That'd be funny. Yeah. That... Thunder is loud. Jeez. Okay, there does not appear to be any living thing on this island. Much as I wish there was like an Easter egg, something out here, like a maybe like a statue or a credit to the creators, but it's all right. Well, uh, that's where he came from, way over there across the water. But all right, this was a pretty. Interesting adventure to say the least And if you guys want me to play this again, just let me know I'd be more than happy to But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video